Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, let's study agriculture together. So I want to remind you that this is a platform where we help each other to pursue an entrepreneurship in agriculture. So today we're just talking about crop production and technology and our subtopic is cultivation of a master crop, cultivation of master crop. Let's rush on to the introduction. Master crop comprises of two species which is Hibascap subdarifa and the other one is Hibascap cannabinus. This belongs to the family Mal Malvanishia and, and they are cultivated for fiber purposes. So if a question comes saying state the economic, the socio-economic importance of a uh, master crop, it is stated here that it is cultivated for its fiber purpose. The cannabis master is commonly known as master or it is also called kenaf. However, in general, both the species are generally termed as mesta in India. It is also known as bimlu, deccan hemp, gagu, chana, etc. etc. Mestra is grown in 13 states, namely the Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Chadiska, Karnatak, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, and etc. etc. State-wise recommended varieties, there are different varieties which are grown from state to state. As you can see here, they are just mentioned here, state-wise varieties recommended state by state. The climate of Mesta, the crop can be grown in temperatures which could range 20 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees as the optimum temperature. For its growth, 30 degrees to 34 degrees centigrade. For its growth, it requires an optimum temperature of 30 degrees to 34 degrees Celsius. The crop can grow in high rainfall areas provided they are good drainages. On the other hand, it can grow on low rainfall areas to tune the even of 500 millimeters rainfall per annum so we are saying it requires the lowest amount of rainfall required by the master crop is 500 millimeters rainfall per annum how do you prepare the land of master crop so we simply move on to the land preparation of master crop master being a rain fed crop land preparation is usually done with the receipt of pre-monsoon showers pre-monsoon showers However, in Andhra Pradesh, for raising rabi mesta, the land preparation is done in early February for sowing the crop with the help of subsoil moisture. Land is to be ploughed with pre-monsoon shower followed by lettering to obtain fine tilth, the sowing time of mesta crop. The optimum plant population for mesta is about 4 to 5 lakh per hectare. The recommended row to row spacing is 25 centimeters by 30 centimeters and plant to plant spacing the 7 centimeters to 10 centimeters. If the crop is sown by broadcasting method, then the plant to plant spacing is maintained at about 12 to 15 centimeters by thinning. For maintaining optimum plant population, the seed rate for the two species varies uh, for broadcasting, we are going to need the seed rate of about 15 to 17 kgs per hectare. When we do line sowing, we are going to require 13 to 15 kilograms per hectare. Seed treatment can be done by a solution called D10 M45 or Bavistin at the rate of 2 grams per kg of seed manures and fertilizer fertilizer application it includes farmyard manure at five to six tons per hectare is to be applied during land preparation so meaning farmyard manure at the rate of five to six kgs per hectare is should be applied during land preparation in medium fertile soil the recommended dose of fertilizer is 40 s to 20 s to 20 and pk respectively we move on to the water management 
In India, Mesta is mainly raised as rain-fed crop. Since the pattern of rainfall during the sowing and growth period is highly erratic, desired yield is not obtained in Mesta crop. For obtaining good yield, along with other inputs, the water requirement of the crop is to be fulfilled. The water requirement of Mesta is about 50 centimeters and if the rainfall is uniformly in high uncertain, in that case it is desirable to give one or two irrigations to Mr. Crop at interval of 15 to 20 days. 15 to 20 days. Intercultural operation. In general, two weddings there should be applied. The first one is to be done 21 days after the crop has been grown. The second one is to be done 35 days after the crop is to be grown. Light thinning during the first weeding and final thinning during the second weeding is recommended. Harvesting. The best time to harvest is, uh, the best time of harvesting is small pot stage for cannabis mester, which usually occurs in October. While for subdarifa mister, it is at 50% flowering, which occurs in November. If the, plant are, if the plants are harvested earlier to this fiber, yield will be low, and men of fiber are immature and soft and may lose at the time of extraction if the harvesting is delayed or it is done at the maturity of the crop. The yield may be more but produces poor quality fiber, which is brittle and less flexible as the cellulose reserves decline due to its utilization by developing fruits and seeds. The normal duration of harvesting of mesta is about 140 to 145 days. The yield capacity which can be obtained from a mesta crop is 22 to 25 quintons, hectares, quintons per hectare. Thank you so much for staying with me in this lecture. We are going to meet again on our next lecture. Please hear the slogan is like, share, subscribe, hit on the notification bell. Just make sure you see what is going to happen next when I post another video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.